Well, those are the fireworks from tonight's Red, White, and Boom at Barnett Park in Spartanburg. The event came to an end about an hour ago. Pretty impressive, right? So you've seen that. And today, now we have a look behind the scenes at what it takes to put that display together. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith has the story. Fourth of July ending on a high note here in Spartanburg. You could really hear everyone's reactions to that fireworks display. But what a lot of people don't know is who's actually behind the curtain putting on that show. We met those men and women today, and they say it's a dangerous job, but has spectacular rewards. Spartanburg's Fourth of July celebration couldn't be complete without the food, fun, family, and of course, seeing the pretty fireworks. Those pretty fireworks don't happen easily. Public probably doesn't realize how dangerous fireworks are. Um, we always say leave it to the professionals. Lauren's resident Beth Jones has been putting on fireworks displays for 10 years. The adrenaline rush is really something. And says for a show like tonight's, the Zambelli fireworks team starts preparing weeks in advance. We may plan and replan and, and redo and, and reshape and all sorts of things to get the perfect show. The team arrives early to start setting up what are known as racks and mortars, which have to be cleaned of debris before each show. These are the mortars and we load the shells into each one of these. There were more than 700 shells in tonight's show, each ranged in size from three to five inches. Different shells go up different heights. A three inch shell will go about 300 feet in the air. Five inch shell is going to go up 500 and then burst 500 feet out. Since this wasn't an electronic show, each shell's fuse got lit by hand and timing is very important. Make sure to keep one in the air all the time. We don't want blank, blank space. We want it in the air. Jones says safety is always their main priority when lighting up the skies for the masses. But you come out here and you get to see the big aerials and stuff like that. It's just something really impressive. An interesting note is that the people who are actually putting on the show don't get to watch it as it's happening because if they look up during the show, they can have ash and all kinds of debris fall into their eyes. So afterwards, they go back and they watch the recordings to see how they can make the show bigger and better next year. Back to you.